Every student should have the right to a thorough and efficient education, and here is one way to achieve that. There are 60 topics that I cover when teaching economics. One of the topics is demand. When I teach it, I first need to introduce the students to the basic information before they are able to apply their understanding. I do this by standing in front of them talking about the content. I try to be engaging and funny to keep the students tuned in to what I'm saying. I ask questions. I field related and unrelated student questions. I frequently wait while students copy down notes from the board before moving on. And I deal with behavior issues and other interruptions. Introducing the students to demand in this way takes about 60 minutes. Now, it takes 60 minutes in period one, another 60 minutes in period two, and another 60 minutes in period 3. Repeating my lecture for 3 hours is completely exhausting. It is also mind-numbing and inconsistent. By period 3, I'm leaving out or repeating information because I'm tired and I cannot keep track of what I've already said. The following day, I give some type of formative assessment, for example, a quiz, to determine whether or not students remembered the information from the day before. I give them 10 minutes to take the quiz and then spend an additional 10 minutes going over the answers, essentially providing an additional 10-minute lecture on the topic of demand. During each semester, I spend around 70 minutes per class period, 210 minutes total, lecturing about demand. Most of that time is spent repeating myself. And of course, I have to do this for every topic that I teach in economics, all 60 of them. That's 12,600 minutes of repetitive live lecture throughout each semester. That is certainly not providing my students with a thorough or efficient education, so I decided to make a change. I recorded lecture videos that cover all 60 economic topics that I'm responsible for teaching. My lecture video about demand is 15 minutes. It covers all the same content that I used to spend 210 minutes talking about live in the classroom. This video changes the efficiency of my instruction. Let's say I show the video at the beginning of each class period to introduce the students to the content. That takes 15 minutes. The students are not bored or exhausted from listening to a long lecture, and I'm not exhausted from giving one. My lecture video is absolutely consistent across all classes. Every student gets the best version of my lecture. After the video is over, I have time to differentiate instruction. I can break students up into groups and give them time to discuss and apply their understanding of the content from the video. I can allow a few students who need to watch the lecture again to do so on the computers in the back of the room or on their cell phones. I can have one-on-one -on -one conversations with students in order to answer their specific questions, and I can have students create artifacts of their learning. I have the time and energy to create and facilitate a student-centered, active learning environment. My lecture videos are always available to my students. They can re-watch them anywhere, anytime, and as many times as they need in order to process the information. There is no need to ever repeat it live in the classroom. The average length of my video lectures is 15 minutes. If I show them during class, in periods 1, 2, and 3, that would take a total of 45 minutes. Again, there are 60 topics. That's 2,700 minutes of lecture video viewing in the classroom. These videos save me from 9,900 minutes of exhausting repetition, but more importantly, they allow me to free up 9,900 minutes every semester that I can use to personalize instruction. My lecture videos and these active learning strategies provide a thorough and efficient education for all of my students.